Hi there, today's recipe is a very easy, very tasty one, boulangerie potatoes. Um, I'll just talk you through the ingredients. We've got Albert Bartlett rooster potatoes, obviously. Now you can leave the skins on them and slice them or you can peel them, whichever you prefer. I've got some chopped up leeks and a great thing to do here is just open them all up so they become more like ribbons rather than chunks. A little bit of butter, so a very healthy dish because that's the only fat you're going to be using. We've got some sliced onion and some black pepper and some chicken stock. So it's that simple. The first thing is you need a shallow cooking pot. The first thing I'm going to do with the butter is just with half of it, just smear a little bit of it on the bottom. I'm going to start uh, with the onions and then I'm going to layer everything up. Okay, now I'm going to put the potatoes. And just a little word about the potatoes. Lots of mums these days buy uh, pasta and rice because they think that's a healthy thing to eat. And it's, it's not a bad thing to eat, but actually start giving potatoes a go again because potatoes have tons more vitamins and nutrients for you and your family in. And I think we just need to think about how we use them and how we cook them. So this dish is certainly one that the family hopefully will like. You can serve it with chicken, you can serve it with fish, you can just serve it with a salad or vegetables if you, if you like. Um, but it's very versatile, so do have a go. It'll only take five minutes. So you can see I've got the onions and I've got the potatoes. I'm now going to pop the leeks on and then lots of black pepper. Now this boulangerie potatoes is a dish that you would normally make with a whole ton of double cream, which isn't terribly healthy for you. I've missed out on the double cream uh, with this dish because obviously that's not very healthy. And instead I'm using chicken stock or vegetable stock, whichever you prefer. And it works just as well. So we've got a nice single layer of potatoes on the top. Okay, and the stock goes in about 200 fluid ounces on this recipe. And now what you need to do is compact it down quite hard with your hands to make sure it's all nicely squished down and ready to cook. The final thing you must not forget to do is your last little ounce of butter or half ounce of butter, because that is your treat. <laughs> this is going to go in the oven for a couple of hours just keep an eye on it to make sure that it's not really burning on the top. You are expecting to get some colour on the top, but if for some reason it is getting a bit too burnt too quickly, just pop a bit of foil over. Um, so I'll probably check this three times throughout the two hours cooking, but apart from that, you can put it in and forget all about it. Oh, look at that. That is my boulangerie potato. And you can tell that it's cooked if you just take a knife. It should be able to go through the potatoes nice and easily. Obviously, you've got some crunchy bits on the top, which is just how I like it. So we've got the onions, we've got the leeks, the black pepper, the stock, and of course, the rooster potatoes. Absolutely gorgeous, healthy. I hope you enjoy it.